What's up everybody? You're here with the Fly Guy. Today we're going to be tying a great pattern for bass. It's the Sparkle Bunny Drop Shot Fly. You can get the tying recipe on my website and blog at tfgflies.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. After laying down a thread base, we're going to now tie in a foul guard. This is going to be a 2 to 3 inch section of 20 pound mono. The 20 pound mono is going to keep the bunny strip from fouling and wrapping around the hook bend once that bunny strip becomes fully saturated with water. Next we'll take our bunny strip and we are going to cut a small beveled point in the hide so that it's easier to tie down. Next, we're going to make a hole in the bunny hide with a bodkin or stabbing tool. You need to make the hole in the hide just past the bend of the hook. Just use your stabbing tool and measure back until you get approximately to the bend of the hook or just slightly past so you can then insert the mono and feed that line through the hole in the bunny hide. I know it's hard to see, but you should form a small mono loop underneath the hide that sticks out just a little past the bend in the hook. This is your completed foul guard. After securing the mono to the hook, go ahead and throw in a few half hitches and it's time to get a fly tire's best friend, super glue. Trim your bunny strip to one and a half times the length of the hook shank, and it's time to tie in our body material. The body is going to be a twisted blend of a material called sparkle scrub and a black saddle hackle. Those materials are going to be twisted together to form a durable and buggy body. The sparkle scrub can be found at most craft stores like Joanne Fabrics, Pat Catans, or Michaels. No bass fly would be complete without a set of rubber legs. Tie in two rubber legs, and on each side, the length needs to be just slightly past the hook bend. If they're just slightly past the hook bend, that's okay. But if they get too much longer, they'll foul. After adjusting your rubber legs and trimming them to length, go ahead and make a couple loose wraps to get those rubber legs out of the way so that you can wrap your body. For the next step, you'll need a binder clip. You can use whatever tool you want, I just find that a binder clip works the best. All I've done here is attach the binder clip to the base of the feather along with the sparkle scrub, and I'm slowly twisting that material together. I'm not twisting it fast, I'm twisting it slow so that fibers don't become trapped and I can slowly blend those materials together and make a durable rope to then wrap my body forward. After tying off and securing your twisted body material, go ahead and grab two mallard flanks, one black and one purple. Tie them in at the tip with the black feather on top. Make one to two wraps forward with these feathers, making sure that you are stroking the fibers back and then tie them off. You could easily just do one mallard flank that's black, one mallard flank that's purple, or two black or two purple. Whatever you choose to do, be creative with it and make it your own. Wrapping down those mallard flanks up front really provides some bulk to this pattern, but it also makes the thread head up front kind of big, but that's okay. During these next finishing steps, this fly really pops. Go ahead and grab black nail polish and apply a base coat. After that dries, you can go ahead and use a purple glitter nail polish to go ahead and coat over that black nail polish. And then once the purple glitter is dry, you can apply a final top coat with Sally Hansen's or your favorite clear head cement. And that's it. Your fly's done. 
This fly is designed to be fished on a drop shot rig on the fly rod. So that's why the bunny strip is tied in upside down because this fly actually rides hook point up. I hope this fly catches you some bass and gets you into more fish. If you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more fly tying videos. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care and we'll catch you next time.